I just wanted to welcome everybody again and wish everybody a happy holidays, no matter how you may celebrate this time of the year. Um, but I did get into some festive prints like everybody else seems to do. And I had another couple of prints I wanted to show you just to get something um, going before the uh, next holiday. Stay tuned and I'm Ron and this is my place. Welcome back. I printed off a few different things. One of course is the uh, same Christmas tree that uh, almost everybody else seems to be printing. Um, I just love the way it kind of shimmers and this was done in um, Maker Geek translucent green uh, which is it's crystal basically it's clear see-through. Um, you can't really see it in the light um, but yeah Turned out really well. Uh, beautiful. Of course, this was printed on the Mark III, um, the Prusa i3 Mark III. Uh, beautiful first layers, of course. I did two there, and then it's face mode on the outside. And everything went well, except for, it's interesting, the top. <laughs> um, I don't know what the deal is, but I used... I've been fighting with a little bit of slicer issues, and I've never really used slicer or slit 3R or whatever you want to call it um, before until I got the Prusa here. And I've started using both the uh, slit 3R Prusa edition as well as uh, control, Prusa control, and using that to print. And I actually was liking it, it seemed interesting. And then I noticed that I was having some cooling issues, what it appeared to be. And I'm starting to think that it was related to Prusa Control actually not driving the fan hard enough um, during print. So there was no way to actually control anything because I was starting to print with it more and more. So I went to the Slick 3R Prusa Edition and tried to print, do some prints. Um, and that's what this one really kind of was. And it printed beautifully. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. But it's like it was just too tall. <laughs> it's literally, it's sitting over there at, at the final position and it was jammed up. X was, uh, or Z, excuse me, was jammed up against the the gantry and it's literally just went as high as it could and just was printing the final handful of layers um, too high. So I've got to dig into the, to the slicer and see exactly how tall it thought it was. And I just was a bit surprised figuring it would have Limited, you know, it knows it's a Mark III, and I figured it would just limit it and tell me, just like in my Simplify 3D, it tells me, oh, it's too big of a print. Um, so, anyways, it's not a big deal. I just got to play with it, learn it, understand it a little bit better, um, and print things smaller. This was 80% size, and apparently I needed to go 75. Uh, but, anyways, I'll just hold it from the top. You would never know the difference, and it's gorgeous looking. Absolutely beautiful. The other thing is the thing that everybody's printing now which is the two-piece candy cane Christmas tree. And it, it printed nicely. Uh, it's kind of a neat print. It's, it's fun. But what I noticed was, like I had mentioned, it all did print well, but anything that was printing in the back, away from where the cooling ring was, I don't know if you're going to be able, how well you're going to be able to see it. Yeah, you see that on the top part there? It's just, it's cooling issues. So, I thought that was odd. There's a little bit more overhang there. You can see. And then you can see the same exact thing on this side. It's just, it's a cooling issue. It's, and... I check the, when it's printing, I check the fan and it says it's at 252, which is 255's max. So it should be going full force, but it just doesn't feel like it is. So I don't know exactly what's going on. I got to do some messing around um, and got to understand it. I may pull in some things. One of the things I'm going to do, this was printed under Proust Control. Um, there are really, really no controls other than just tell it to go. So I'm going to actually slice this in Slick 3R Proust Edition and try printing. Um, with the fan at 
where I feel like I have control and see if it prints better. So it could be just kind of a fan control bug or something with the uh, with the thing, with the uh, Proust control, but we'll see. I'm hoping that's it. It's just really neat. It's kind of something satisfying with the way these things work. Uh, it's really kind of loose. I printed it kind of big and sloppy, but... Anywho, those are my two Christmas trees, the only ones I have up this year. The other one I printed was, I've been printing, this was going to be a basically a plastic Christmas for my grandson and my nephew. Um, and these are some push toys that I printed for them, and I thought they were neat at first. Well, they are neat, but they're actually neater than what I thought. Because... It's just a body and then four wheels, but the wheels are all captured bearings. So they print standalone and they just, they beat onto the, the axle, if you will, um, which that part was a bit difficult. I don't, the tolerances are just a bit odd, but I got them on there and I glued them on for extra support. And they're really neat. It, and they're going to be solid as a rock. A um, little bit again... I look at, at, at some of the underneath, um, you can see a little bit of, I'm trying to get, get my face out of the way here, you can see a little bit of overhang where there was some cooling issues going on, um, and again I think it's because I was using Proust Control a lot, um, but yeah, other than that, it was fun. It was a neat little print. Uh, I think they're going to really get a kick out of them and goes well with the other pile of plastic I have over there. Um, all right. That's pretty much all I had. I just wanted to kind of throw a few prints at you, let you see what I had been printing. Still loving the Prusa Mark III. It's printing amazing. Uh, this is the closest I've come to a failed print, and it had nothing to do with the printer. It's all slicer. <laughs> I'm actually amazed that it printed really well. It's a really solid top layer. It's amazing when you have this much all printing at the same time. Um, so anyways, I'll keep playing with the, the cooling, and I'll see if I can figure out the cooling on it. Um, I'm hoping, really hoping, it was just slicer related, um, and then changing slicers will fix all that. I think I'm going to print tonight. I'll print one of these pieces and uh, and do a direct comparison. That's probably the, the best way, and then we'll kind of go from there. So anywho, there you go. Uh, I don't know what the next print's going to be or the next uh, video. I may do something on Saturday here in a couple days. Um, a couple people have been asking for some Tronxy uh, videos. Uh, so maybe I'll pull that one off the shelf over there. Um, ignore the boxes, please. It's that time of the year. Um, so anyways... Have a really good happy holidays, and I hope everybody's having fun, and I get really hope everybody gets a Mark III under their tree. That would be really cool. So, anyways, have fun. Thank you for stopping by. Um, thank you for subscribing. It's been interesting with the, uh, the wave that's been going. Hopefully I can keep some interest um, and keep you all uh, interested, and we'll see what goes. If you have any interest of seeing certain videos, just let me know, and I'll do the best I can. Definitely, I'm not an expert, as hopefully you've seen with the videos. By any means, I just enjoy messing around. I enjoy tinkering. I enjoy testing. And I just enjoy wasting a bunch of time. <laughs> Thank you much. Have fun. And enjoy.